Well, after a three day master class in how to infuriate their fan base, today the president of the Boston Bruins said that the team, quote, failed to properly vet controversial signing Mitchell Miller. Well, Miller is now being released, and Bruins players say they support the move. WBZ's Mike Yuva's live at the Garden tonight. Mike, the Bruins will host the Blues there this evening, <laughs> clearly hoping to put these troublesome, this troublesome hire behind them. Yeah, this team would really like to just get back to playing hockey. Mitchell M Miller admitted to abusing a disabled classmate six years ago. Cam Neely thought he deserved a second chance. But after learning more information over the last couple of days and finding out that there was more to the story, he decided it just couldn't work. And it's been a damaging 72 hours for the Bruins as they do everything they can to repair some of those relationships with both the players and the fan base. I take pride in... in the Bruins organization and what we stand for, and we failed there. Mitchell Miller's tenure with the Bruins lasted less than 72 hours, a situation that Cam Neely calls the biggest regret in his time as Bruins team president. I'm disappointed that we're in this position. We shouldn't be in this position. So we could have done a better job. We should have done a better job. Neely admitted they didn't do their homework on Mitchell until after the signing drew intense criticism from their fans and players who said the move went against the culture of diversity and inclusion the team prides itself on. The amount of time and energy that's gone into to, to bringing in good people and, and building a great room and um, you know we take pride in that and, and I take pride in that. It goes back to what we've built here uh, as an organization, as a, as a team, as um, as a locker room, is to, to be inclusive and um, a locker room of, of respect and, and integrity. Players and management know fans are unhappy with this and how this has been handled, but hope that relationship can be repaired over time. Look, no one's perfect. Um, you know, we all make mistakes, and, and uh, you know, the, this was one of those mistakes. Now, Nelly also apologized to Isaiah Maya Crother, the young man who was abused, saying that the family should not have to relive this and have to deal with it anymore. The Bruins will do everything they can to get this one uh, moving forward now as they take on the Blues here tonight at the Garden. Paula?